E-T, phone home. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Sorry about the coffee tongue. Let me cover that up really quick. I have just got to Walmart. I'm waiting on Michael's to open. I have to go in there and grab Ansley a 11 by 14 sketchbook. You know there's nowhere around my house that carries one because I live out in the sticks so it takes me 20-25 minutes to get anywhere. So that's what I'm doing now. I have to take Aubrey to the orthodontist later. It's just you know it's gonna be a fun day but I'm gonna go into Walmart while I'm waiting on Michael's to open and see if there's anything new for fall and Halloween. All right I usually don't start my videos out showing alcohol at eight o'clock in the morning but here we are I've never seen this pink lemonade margarita cocktail I've also never seen this Italian sausage Italian style street inspired pizza it says it's limited edition it looks really really good and they also have a barbecue chicken pizza it's a flatbread pizza a Mexican style street corn pizza chicken nacho recipe flatbread pizza and then they have the buffalo chicken they have the chicken bacon ranch and the pepperoni and mozzarella. I have never seen these. My Walmart must suck. I'm just kidding, I love Walmart. I know they're not all created equally, but I swear when I come to other Walmart, just like y'all always tell me, you're like, I don't, my Walmart doesn't have that. I feel the same way. Like, check this out. Maybe they're getting ready for Super Bowl. We have this pina colada wine cocktail here too. These are 98 cent. <laughs> I wonder how you'll feel the morning after drinking these. Long Island iced tea, peach margarita. I, my Walmart does not have any of this ruby red. Y'all also know I love to get this rotisserie shredded chicken, but my Walmart does not have the barbecue. They also don't have the fajita season, but check out this price, 12.37. I never remember it being that expensive. I thought it was like $7 and something. This is shredded pork, shredded rotisserie chicken, 12.37. Five cheese lasagna. Very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna get some apple cider, but like which one's better? Apple wedge cider or just this one? I mean, I don't know. I think that I'm gonna go with this one because the ingredients are ap apples and potassium sorbate, which I don't know what that is. I probably need to look it up. And then look at all the ingredients in this. Uh-uh. No thank you, honey. Ew, and that looks gross. I feel like this video is gonna have no rhyme or reason to it because I just don't feel like organizing it th that way. But check these out, $14.98 for some Happy Halloween sweatshirts. All right, so we have a Disney and a peanut Halloween shirt, which I love the little peanuts one, it's so cute. These are $8.98. They also have these over here. These are $6.98. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. That's a cute little shirt. Not a bad price. And then they have the Tada pumpkin one. They also have this one right here, which I really like. This says Momster. It's kind of cute. And they also have this one for $6.98 with the little floral skull on it. Y'all, bear with me in this video. I'm gonna be all over the place, like all over the place. Okay, this one is really cute. It's just like a sweatshirt and it says, I don't need nobody. Get it, $13.48. And then they have this one over here. Here. It's kind of like the lure. I don't know what material that is. They have this one as well, though. They also have these sweatpants that say Hocus Pocus, and then these that are the Not Before Christmas. They are $15.98. Some good old sweaters. They are not my favorite patterns, to be honest with you. I do like this one right here, but I feel like for me, these would make me look a lot bigger. And then they have a few more patterns back here. These are $19.98. These shirts are cute, but keep in mind, this is juniors. And then these shirts are back again. If you don't like turtlenecks, you probably won't like them, but they're really good to wear under clothes during the fall and winter. They're $7.98, so they've gone up a bit, but they have these usually every year and they have a ton of different colors. We've also got these right here. Also No Boundaries brand. So anything you see No Boundaries is gonna be junior. So you always want to size up, but I think these are kind of cute. I don't know if I would wear it, but kind of like it. And these are cute too. They're $13.98. I thought they were gonna be denim, but when I went to go fill them, they're actually cloth. So I really like them. I'm not gonna get a ton today because I still have to do a try on for you guys. And well, it's, it's actually half filmed. I have to upload it, but they have all of these here. And I did get one of these that you'll see in my video. Let's go see if we can find anything nice and cute in the Time and True brand. That way it'll actually fit me. Um, here's our hippie pants back there. They have a ton. Sorry, this is no boundaries, but what do y'all expect? This is so cute. Look, 
it's skulls, it's like a black tee, but it's got leopard print skulls on it. I think that's so adorable. $6.98. And these are super cute too. I think I need to turn this one around. And the price is gone, so they're $14.98. They're really cute. I love the white shirt under them. They also have this one, and I thought about getting it in like an XXL. I think it's really, really cute. And it has the black shirt under it instead, except for I don't know how flattering this yellow would be on my body, and it feels like it sticks to you. Drop of the video. They also have these, still no boundaries. I'm making my way over there. I did not think I was gonna do another fall fashion video, but I just walked straight into this. Ooh, ET, phone home. ET, phone home. Oh, you can't see my hand. Okay, so these are Tara and Sky. This Walmart has a little bit more to choose from than what I'm normally able to show you from Tara and Sky, which is really exciting. This is so cute. Actually, it's not Tara and Sky, I lied. What a freaking liar. I am so sorry, but it's so adorable. So cute. But these two are Tara and Sky. Love these right here. I love this little detail at the top. They're $19.98. We have the Tara and Sky Henley tops for $13.98. And I love this like pinkish purple color back here, but they also have green and gray. And these dresses right here are so adorable. I really, really like this one. I feel like it would be really flattering on. They are $27.98. Let's go around and take a look at this other one. The purple is what I'm trying to show you. That's cute. All right, so this Walmart actually has some Pioneer Woman. And I think this is in plus size. I think these go all the way from like small to 3X is what I'm seeing. And another drop of the video, but it's Pioneer Woman and it's so pretty. I love how the sleeves kind of flare out like this and they're $18.99 for these shirts. And she also has this one over here and there is dresses too. Here's the dresses. Now I have bought a Pioneer Woman dress before. It was not very appealing on my body type, but these are, well it says they're $15.99. Are they cheaper than the shirts? They absolutely are. I checked the tag that was hanging on it and they are cheaper than the shirts. The dresses are. Also more Pioneer Woman right here. These are $22.99. And then there's also these dress pants, which I really like these right here. Especially these, I've never seen any dress pants that color before. They're $15. Well, they left off the 99 cent on the tag, but on the tag tag, it has the 99 cent. Okay, my Walmart also does not carry the free assembly brand in store, but I love it. I order it online all of the time. And this is so so, so cute. It looks like it's more of a spring, but I definitely love these dresses. So we are getting over to the time and true side. These are $26.98. They're kind of like cardigans, I guess, but they look pretty short. Not my style, but they are cute. Okay, more of these little pullovers from Free Assembly. I love these because I have seen so many people trying these on on like youtube and instagram and they look so cute on them so i don't know i love the green we also have the time and true longer cardigans for 16.98 we've got the green the tan color the burgundy and the black okay spoiler alert i have this and it is so so comfy i will be trying it on in the next video you'll see that but look at these skirts i can't I can't deal. What brand is this? This is time and true, y'all. Tell me, would y'all wear these skirts? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling them. Also, I wanted to add that the black one also has the buttons on the front too. You couldn't see that a minute ago and I did not know that either. So there's that. And oh my goodness, it has pockets. Ooh, look at these Levi's. Those are so adorable. Now I, you know, everybody says you can't wear white after Labor Day, but these are not white. These are like beige, ivory, something like that. These are around $26, $27. They also have these time and true flannels, which are really cute. They have a bunch of different patterns, which I've showed these already. I love this purplish pink one back here. There's hardly any left. Okay, so for $28.98, I found some flare leg jeans that I might actually like that might not drag the ground. And they have a little distressing on them. They are the Lee brand, but they're cute. Should I get them? Should I get them? I could probably wear 16, 14, 16, one of the two. I think I'm gonna get them. If I don't like them, I'll return them. Okay, they have these sweaters back like they do every year. I swear they go up a dollar every year, which, you know, 
what can you do? I had to go up a little bit in Zodiac Dreamer, my shop, because it's just the prices of things are so expensive now, but I love this orange. I've never bought an orange one and I'm really tempted just for fall vibes, you know. They also have the leopard print. They also have this pattern this year, which they've never had this one before. And then they may have had this blue, but I have the other color blue. I like this one a little bit better. All right, we have these Lee, well, they're on a Lee price tag for $17.98. And they're sweaters, but they're the Time and True brand. And then let's go around here. Are these cardigans or sweaters? They are cardigans. That is what I figured. They're $24.98. And these actually have a tie. What I don't like about some cardigans, especially ones that are thick like this, is they don't have a tie. So it makes you look extra wide. But with these, you can actually tie it and show your waist definition, if you know what I mean. The onesies are back. Did they ever leave? Does anybody want to be a cow? Oh man, look at these sweatpants. They look so comfortable. They feel so comfortable. Oh, honey. They also have these Athletic Works hoodies. It says they're super soft. They feel super soft. I love the brown one. I'm tempted to get the brown one, but I'm not. I'm not going to do it. But I do have some other things in my cart, okay? Popcorn balls, ooh, $7.98. This section calls for a hand. Okay, these are all kids' costumes and I'm just not interested. If you are, I'm sorry, but I'll just show you a little overview. Oh my goodness, look at these Minecraft costumes. Among Us, this is funny. Imposter, crewmate. Y'all know your kids. You know you've heard your kids talk about this. I have met my match. Look at it. It's a whole tower of Mountain Dew Voodoo, which I actually love this mystery flavor. It's so good. I have not found the 12 pack except for in the minis yet. So this is exciting. Zero sugar and not zero sugar. Which one do you think I'm going to get? Look at these Halloween nails. They're super cute. Even though I've been growing my nails out, I'm like, hmm, should I? Oh, not those. But those are really cute. Some of these masks though are like super creepy. Like this one. And oh my gosh, like what is this? Okay, for $5.54, this. I mean, how can you not? Just for funsies. What if I got this hat and like wore it on a scream mask? Like it would be perfect or any of these masks. Okay, if you know anything about me or if you're new here, I love wigs, like absolutely love them. So just seeing all these wigs here has me like, <gasps> oh, should I buy them all? Okay, so in adult costumes, you can be a banana. You can be some fireball. You can also be an adult version of the imposter from Among Us, if you know, you know. We have a ghost bride. We have an angel. We have a devil. We have a tribal spirit poncho. We have a clown, oh my gosh, this is perfect for me. The poncho clown, does it come with a wig? If it doesn't come with a wig, then what's the point, man? And then um, a ladybug poncho? No. This poncho, sugar skull poncho. Men's police officer costume. I can't. I'm just kind of digging this one right here, if I'm honest. Okay, that's kind of cute. We also have like the little hippie costume. Can y'all see me wearing that? I could. We also have the flirty cop, the feisty fox. What does the fox say? And then we have more of these let's bougie and totally ghoul nails. Self-adhesive, they are only $2.98. Lots of Halloween makeup. Slow it down so you can kind of check out everything they have. Fantasy ears. I love this time of year when they come out with the polishes because they have the LA Colors gel polishes. Well, I don't think it's like real gel or anything. But regardless, these polishes are really, really good. Maybe it is real gel. I don't, I don't really know. Gel glow. Maybe this just called that. Ooh, this one's so, so pretty. Oh my and even more nails like so many more we have all of these halloween signs fall two for 5.97 and for 6.98 we have some pillows it's so funny i'm pretty sure i have a picture with this same design on it like same fabric and everything but here is kind of more what they have i like these down here 
check out the skeleton. I don't know how much it is. I need to find out. I feel like it's expensive from what I learned the other day about these skeletons. Hold on. I can see kind of back here a price. I want to put it in my front seat. It's $98, but it's an investment. But I could put it in the front seat of my car. My husband would think it was nuts and he would probably say, why do you buy this stupid crap? But I mean, if you know me, right? We can be best friends. I also love these skull hands lights. Very nice. Howie cruised through Walmart because he said he needs to be able to see where he's going. So we're just doing our cruising like this. Okay, I love when they come out with all of the new little Halloween stuff. These are light up tumblers. This is really <laughs> cute. Love all of this stuff. Uh, Mr. Skelly has already got tons of compliments. So keep that in mind. Look at this big mug. Is this supposed to be like a big beer mug? I also love this orange one. Now I have one exactly like the clear one, but I love the orange one. So cute. We also have these little cups, beautiful, and just a little pumpkin. We have these wine glasses, very cute. And then more Halloween platters and treat bowls. And I really love the skeleton one down there. It's only $5.98, but it looks like it's really good quality. Okay. This one's cute, pick your own poison. I think I might take a page out of Erin Williams' book and put some coffee syrup in here. That's what she does and you know, that way when you go to a coffee shop, if they don't make it right, you can make it right, cheat face. They also have the spider gummies, which are really cool. And then they have the sprinkles boil and bubble. They have the decorate your pumpkin three in one light. They also have this flaming pumpkin light, which is really cool. I have a couple of these already and I got them from Dollar Tree like three years ago. So I'm not gonna get any of those. They have these pumpkin carving sets, but like these never work in my opinion. They're just, they're not strong enough. Okay, check out all of these little witches they have and then this little doll, so, so cute. Got this one, this one was turned around, but this one's really, really cute. And they have the little man over here to match. These are $16.88. We have some Halloween decor right here, very cute. Check out these scrunchies. This is an actual scrunchie. Can you not see me wearing this? Home sweet haunted home. I can definitely see myself wearing this scrunchie. These are so cute. They're Harvest Solar LED Stakes. I love that. So they light up at night. Don't have to worry about plugging them in. They're eleven eighty eight dollars a piece, but I think it's a really good investment if they work well. They also have the normal shaped pumpkins as well. They also have the candy corn bottle brush trees, some haunted houses, some black bottle brush trees. We have some inflatables up there and these are really cute. And then you have these right here, these signs. I wonder how much they are. Like, let's be honest. Let's guess. Can we guess how much these signs are? How much have they gone up over the years? Oh my goodness. $16.97? No. Man. Oh my goodness. Look at all the cute scarecrows. I love these. I'm gonna have to hurry up in here because Skelly is getting impatient, but I love this one right here. Is she not a doll? Okay. So if you like Better Homes and Gardens, they have the new scents for the season, banana pumpkin bread. That looks like it would smell really good. Maple sugar drizzle, sliced apple cinnamon, all of these. That does smell really good. Look at this. This is a Halloween wax warmer. And then they have all of these cool little water bottles. They light up at night. And then these little tumblers are also really cute, $6.98. We got these Halloween runners. And this one could be used for fall or Halloween. Those are both $13.98. And then I've been seeing this cute little ghost all over Instagram and it really makes me want it. And I really don't need it. It's really cute, it's 10 bucks. $10. They also have a pumpkin. Also, all of these potion jars or whatever shaped like a skeleton are pretty cool. They don't have a price on them. Maybe on the bottom. No, not on the bottom. And then we have the skull shot glasses and the skull dispensers, drink dispensers. Oh, that one's cute over there. These are $18.94. We have the treat jars pumpkin treat jar, skull treat jar, and then all of the skull sippers, which are super cute. And these are glass, they're $3.96. That's probably why they're a little bit more expensive, but they're really pretty. I like them a lot. I'm really tempted to just get this one. Like, why don't I need this one, you know? Okay, check out the stainless steel wine tumblers. These are like some of the tumblers I would see on Etsy. These are $6.98, so nice. 
so they have these tumblers too and i was wondering how they light up at night you just have to push the button on the bottom really cute i'm just like so tempted to get one of these i mean so cute okay so they have these mugs which are really cute and then they also have these little pumpkin ones. They have some pink ones, but they're always out of stock. Oh, these are nice cups. These aren't Halloween or anything, but they're really nice. And I'm sure they're cheaper than a lot of other mugs we've seen out there. I don't even see a price on them. And I don't feel like scanning them. I know we have the Walmart app, but you know, I'm filming. And then check out all of these new candles. These are the Better Homes and garden brand but they look just like the anthropology candles and they smell really good too and they also have these new wax warmers they also have all of these as well lots more candles these are 744 the other ones were 1387 but love the packaging of these very pretty all right you know mr skelly is really making everybody happy but nobody's taking me seriously in walmart anymore like should they anyway right look at all of this new pumpkin stuff i think they had some stuff similar to this last year they've got bath bombs all kinds of stuff okay super random have you guys ever seen this protein powder jet puffed like marshmallow jet puffed protein powder and they have moon pie chocolate and then they have all of the halloween soft soaps for one dollar not bad okay we have more scarecrows these are cute they're only 7.58 i don't think that's terribly bad you're not getting much but still 7.58 not bad if i only had a heart do, 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 do. that came from skelly not me look at these beads how cute these are 8.97 though for just like one little set of beads i'm just i'm starting to get real cheapo I'm just frugal, that's all it is. But look at this door, it's so cute. It's 644 and it's like a little door. I'm not gonna go through all of the fall decor, but I mean, check this out, how cute. Got some little pumpkin patch trucks, all of that good stuff. I need to hurry up and get out of here. All right, we also have these outdoor throw pillows. Let's check out the price on these. I don't see a price. I'm not thinking they're gonna be too expensive though because they don't feel too expensive, but they'd be nice to stick outside. And I'm just gonna show y'all a little glimpse of the garden center. Check it out. They're already putting out Christmas decor. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Y'all, look at Walmart coming through with the inspired blankets of Barefoot Dreams. They feel just like the ones at Sam's Club too. So they are $5 cheaper as well. So they're $24.44. So we've had to tell Skelly to calm it down. There's a lot of people that are stopping and talking to Skelly, so we're letting him know he needs to be polite. So leave down below if you think he needs to be polite or not. Also, um, if you have any name suggestions for him, let me know. I've already asked on Instagram, but nothing's official yet. So I'm seeing a lot of new brands here at this Walmart. I've never seen the Sam and Libby brand, but these are really cute. These are $35. They have these shoes, which are, I feel like they're grandma shoes, but they're super cute. I think they're coming back in style. And they also have these. These remind me of my friend Jessica Donahue. Of course, all three pair are pretty cute. They also still have some of these green boots left. These are $45, but they're really good quality. You can tell I love the green. They also have tons of new Avia, I think that's how you say that. Tennis shoes, these are really great quality. I have this brand shoe. I think they sell them on Amazon as well. And they've always held up for me great walking shoes, but these are really pretty. They also have these slot-ons right here for $19.98. They have black as well. These remind me of cotton candy. Actually, they have several colors, but these would be really nice to run in. Just slide them right on and hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, I need to go home. Oh my goodness, look at these cute kids shoes. Oh man, I've got to get out of here. Look at these, these look like golden gooses. So if I'm coming up on Mr. Skelly, this is what he looks like to everybody. I'm not mad. He's getting lots of compliments, aren't you, hun? They have all of these Chelsea boots right here, really cute, $29.98, lots of different colors. I have not seen these yet. These are $34.98. They have like a little bit of shimmer, glitter, whatever, bedazzle down there on the bottom. And they also have the black that are the same way. And then just the plain black, of course. 
I actually own these. <laughs> these will be in my try-on. And they have the same color in those, which I kind of like these better. I don't know. These are really cute too. I love all these boots right here, but these specifically with the little rhinestones on them, these are $35. These flats are super cute too. $16.98 for the Twist Mules. And just so many boots, y'all, that I cannot get through them all. I mean, it's just so many. I also have these. I still need to try them on. But lots of slippers. Definitely lots of slippers. This is the perfect time of year to be getting you some good old slippers. I will tell you, I love these slippers to wear around the house or outside or to the mailbox. I don't know. Wherever you want to wear them. But they are very nice and cozy. Oh, what are these? These are kind of cute. All right, we have our pumpkin spice cookies, our M&M cookies, all of the Halloween cookies. All right, they have all of the Funfetti mixes for Halloween, of course. I don't even remember them having the black frosting last year, but they have it this year. We have the maple flavored bourbon syrup. We have the candy corn syrup. And then we have the pumpkin spice syrup. We have pumpkin spice pancake and waffle mix, apple cinnamon pancake and waffle mix. We even have pumpkin spice chai latte mix, no bait pumpkin spice cream kit, cranberry orange quick bread mix, apple cinnamon, pumpkin spice, then spice cake mix down here, pancake and waffle mix, donut kit, pumpkin spice, pretzel dipping kit, Dracula. Vampire, vampire, vampire. Can I even say that word? I don't even care. Anyway, all of this stuff right here. Tons of cookie kits. This one looks really cool. The Whoopie Pie one. Lots of Stranger Things kits. I mean, I've never even watched Stranger Things, but I know a lot of you have. So, I thought I would show these. The one I find the most intriguing is this Cherry Slush Drink Kit. Mm, chocolate Cinnamon Flavor Baking Chips. This Walmart is playing the music that you have to listen to when you're waiting on a call. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I have not seen the Creepy Caramel Ding Dongs, so there's that. Found these. These are definitely new. Also, I found these Niagara Chocolates Handcrafted Maple Cream Dark Cups. And then up here, we have some pumpkin spice chocolate almonds, salted maple flavored bark, and also milk chocolate apple pie flavored sandwich creams. And the rest of this is all Halloween candy. I'm not gonna stop and check all of it. I know Mr. Skelly wishes I would, but you know, we just don't have time for all of that jostling around. Ooh, pumpkin, oh, pumpkin spice, y'all. I thought these were the ones that they have at Sam's Club in the big packaging that I never want to buy. But still, these are 418. But I've never seen these before. All right, so I've never seen these. Fun Betty mini pancakes. All right, so I'm home. I'm going to show you everything I got from Walmart. And I got a couple things from Ingles. <sighs> I spent way too much money today. Let's just say that. All right, so... <laughs> this is mostly junk, but this is a fill-in haul. We have a, a lot of meats and stuff like that. So, I got some fudge rounds for the girls because they, they go through these things and then ask me where they went. Like, where'd all the fudge rounds go? I don't know. I didn't eat any. These are really, really good. I bought these the other day from Ingles. I got this for Alex because he loves this chip dip. Also, got these for Alex because he wants to make this yummy recipe. We will be sharing it over on Rooster's Recipe, so stay tuned for that. Those are frozen phyllo shells. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've never heard of these before and the recipe called for it. I had to go to Ingles and get them. We'll see how it turns out. I got some strawberry flavor soda. The girls love this and my Walmart never has it. So I went ahead and picked it up. They're only 96 cents a piece. Got some Hidden Valley Ranch for a recipe. Got some nacho cheese Doritos. Three bags of the sharp cheddar cheese, just for convenience. And then I also got two bags of these apples because I'm gonna be making a yummy, yummy dip for these apples on my tailgating video on Rooster's Recipe, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be so delicious. I got this huge sweet cream flavored International Delight from Walmart. I did not know that they had one this big, but it was about the same price that I would pay anywhere else for the regular size. And then I got these original diced tomatoes with green chilies. I didn't know that they had 
diced tomatoes with green chilies either, but a recipe that we're gonna do calls for this, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed the Mountain Dew Voodoo Mystery Flavor at Walmart, as well as the Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. I haven't seen it anywhere else yet, besides in the mini cans and the 20 ounce, so I grabbed that. This is also for a recipe. One of my subscribers shared the recipe with me. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or on YouTube. If you're here, you can comment, let me know, but I screenshotted your recipe and I'm gonna make it probably on Rooster's recipe. So, also I got this Momster shirt that I showed you guys in the store. This is the orange sweater that I showed you. I got, these are oversized, so I did get a, just a large in this sweater. Last year, I bought a couple of the extra larges and I felt like they were a little bit too big. I got two pair of jeans. I got one of the flare legs I showed you. And then I got another pair, which you can't hardly tell here, but these are just straight leg. I don't have many jeans this color, so hopefully they fit. I will have them in my Walmart try-on. And then Ansley's running for student council, so I just bought a couple of posters for her to make some signs and these big Sharpie markers to go along with that. Now for the grand reveal of the best thing I got. You guys probably already know what it is. So here is my man that is the star of the show. I plan on picking up the girls from school today and having this dude in the passenger seat, but we gotta figure out a name for him. Leave your suggestions down below. All right, so I had to run some more errands after I got home. Alex's mom came over and we kind of talked about our Hawaii trip, what we were packing and stuff like that. So it's just been a crazy day. I had to go to Aubrey from theater. We've just got a lot going on. So I didn't get a chance to film an outro. I thought since I was sitting out here, I would show you my new patio set and umbrella. This is not sponsored at all. It was just sent to me. They were nice enough to send it and give me a coupon code, but you have to see it. It is so nice and affordable. So check this out. All right, so this is the patio set that I have and I absolutely love this. I think it's so beautiful. And then this is the umbrella. I'm gonna try to back up just a little bit so you can see how big this umbrella is. It's absolutely huge. I love it so much. And then since it gets pretty windy around where we live, Alex put these like center blocks, I think that's what they're called. He just grabbed those from Lowe's so it won't blow away but we absolutely love it. And then of course, here's the little crank to let it down. I'm gonna let him do that because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. I will leave the link to my little patio set, bistro set down below. I'll leave a link to the umbrella. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, this is a solar light. And then as you can see, these little things right here are also lights. I wish it was dark outside so I could show you what it looks like. But at nighttime, if you have this up, and you turn it on, it lights up and it is beautiful. So, like I said, it's been a long day, but I wanted to show y'all that because I just love that. I'm so grateful for them sending it. So cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything is linked down below. I will try to link as much as I can as far as the things that I found at Walmart as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey,